हेलो फ्रेंड्स सत्येंद्र हियर एंड इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स क्रिएट ब्लोअर अपर हाउसिंग यूजिंग स्वेप्ट ब्लेंड इन क्रियो पैरामेट्रिक सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो इन दिस पार्ट दिस इंटायर पोर्सन इज क्रिएटेड यूजिंग स्वेप्ट ब्लेंड सो दिस पोर्सन कैन ऑल्सो बी क्रिएटेड यूजिंग स्वीप एंड ब्लेंड सो इफ यू सी दिस पोर्सन फ्रॉम हियर टिल हियर यू कैन क्रिएट यूजिंग ब्लेंड बिकॉज द सेक्शन इज वेरिंग बट फ्रॉम हियर टिल दिस बॉटम द सेक्शन इज कॉन्स्टेंट सो यू कैन यूज स्वीप to create this portion but when you create this portion using blend and sweep you will be creating two separate features so i'll be using swept blend to combine these two feature as a single feature so in swept blend you can have one path with multiple sections together so let's start this part and for this go to new part solid assign the name and say okay now first let's begin with this portion and for this i'll go to extrude on to the right datum plane normal switch of the datums now draw the circle just like this go to delete segment and delete this bottom segment now this is radius 60 draw the line in the bottom and say okay now go to the symmetry and the total width is 80 say okay control d so this is the first feature now the second feature is this portion and for this i'll use swept blend and to use swept blend you need to predefine the path so for that go to sketch on to the right datum plane sketch normal now we'll start with the arc from here this side now this is radius 100 now draw one line from here this side make it tangent this should be tangent with this now this is 135 now we need to create one point somewhere here because there is a section coming over here and for that go to divide and divide this line this will be 55 and that's it say okay now go for swept blend select this path flip the start point go for sections sketch make it normal now first draw a center line somewhere here then draw a rectangle just like this add rounds to all the corners make it equal dimension from here till here this is 52 and from here till here this is 72 go to symmetry make this point and this point symmetry with this now this is radius 15 say okay so one section is done now the second section and for that go to insert sketch but before that you change the sketch location so it is showing end so move your cursor near to the location and click the point now you go for sketch say normal once again draw center line first then rectangle add rounds make it equal round is r15 now this is 58 and this is 42 go for symmetry make this point and this point symmetry with this be careful about the start point now say okay 
Now the third section and for that go to insert, location will be end. So go for sketch, normal. Now the third sketch is similar to second sketch. So follow the same procedure. and say ok. Now go for options and select set perimeter control and say ok. So the second feature is done, now the third feature will be one round which is coming somewhere here, this is radius 5. and say ok. Now the next feature is the cell, so you have uniform thickness all around 2.5. So for this go to cell, select this face, press and hold control key and select this face. Now make it 2.5 and say ok. Now once this is done, the next feature is this flange. And for that go to extrude, select this face, normal, go for reference, select this as a reference, draw center line just like this, then a rectangle from here, then draw one circle like this, go for delete segment, delete this segment, this segment, these segments and this segments. Now the dimension, so from here till here this is 165, now this is 5 and say ok. Flip the direction. I make it two selected till this selected surface. And say ok. Now the next feature is extrude cut on this surface. So draw a circle just like this dimension. So, this is radius 45, say ok, flip the direction, make it to next and go for remove material and say ok. Same thing one more time for this face. One second draw the circle just like this, dimension, now this is radius 15, say ok. Flip the direction, make it remove material and make it to next. Now the next feature is these holes and for this go to hole, select this surface, drag this handle this side and this handle this side. This is 10, this is also 10 and the hole die is 5, depth is 2 next and say ok. 
गो फॉर पैटर्न डायरेक्शन पैटर्न दिस इज वन डायरेक्शन द गैप इज ट्वेंटी फोर आइटम्स देन द सेकेंड डायरेक्शन सेकेंड डायरेक्शन इज दिस साइड दिस गैप इज वन फोर्टी फाइव एंड से ओके Now the next feature is couple of rounds. So go for round. Select this edge, this edge, this one, this one, this one, and this one. These all are radius five. Say okay. One more time round. Select this edge. This is radius two, and say okay, and your part is done. Now you can hide this sketch, and you can apply some appearance. Just like this, and you can see your part like this. Now to switch up this reflection and this shadow, you can go to the scene, edit scene, and here inside the environment you have shadow and reflection. That is gone. So this was the blower upper housing, and I hope this video will be helpful. Now you can like this video if you find this video helpful and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.